trauma and burnout, two terms that are often spoken about separately, but what happens when they intersect? The truth is trauma can make burnout significantly worse and it's an issue that deserves attention. Trauma can actually bring about burnout much faster and makes it way har harder to overcome. People with trauma often experience more burnout and there are several reasons why this happens. Trauma often uh, alters how a person's nervous system responds to stress, making them more vulnerable to experiencing burnout. Here are some nine key factors that explain why people with trauma may be more prone to burnout. Number one, heightened sensitivity to stress. People who have experienced trauma often have very heightened sensitivity to stress because then nervous systems are altered and always on high alert. Trauma can leave the brain and body in a state of hypervigilance where the person is constantly scanning the environment for danger, even in situations that are inherently not threatening. This constant state of arousal depletes energy reserves way faster, leading to burnout quicker um, when faced with just normal work and life stressors. This manifests as feeling overwhelmed by simple tasks or reacting strongly to what others might see as ordinary challenges. Over time, the constant energy drain of staying hyper alert leads to burnout much faster than it would for someone without the trauma background. Number two, reduced emotional bandwidth. So trauma usually reduces a person's emotional capacity to deal with day-to-day -day challenges. They may already be coping with unresolved feelings of shame or helplessness from their trauma, unprocessed grief, anger, or fear often resurface during times of stress, compounding feelings of exhaustion and emotional depletion. It becomes harder for these people to recover emotionally and leads them to burn out much faster than in people who don't have trauma histories. For example, in the workplace, if someone has trauma history, they may find it harder to handle conflict, feedback, or even normal deadlines because their emotional reserves are already drained by managing trauma-related emotions. What might be a small stressor for someone else can be overwhelming to the trauma survivor, pushing them more quickly towards burnout. Trauma could also impact person's ability to regulate their emotions, meaning they might have difficulty calming themselves down after a stressful event or managing their reactions to stress. Without strong emotional regulation skills, stress can quickly escalate into burnout because the individual can bring themselves back to a baseline state of calm and um, they can't really relax. Three, difficulty setting boundaries. Many people with trauma, particularly from abusive types of trauma, neglectful relationships, struggle with setting healthy boundaries. They may be overtaxing themselves at work or in relationships, feeling obligated to please others or fearing the consequences of saying no. And the tendency to overcommit accelerates their burnout because they take way too much responsibilities. They put way too much on their plate that they can't actually handle. Number four, self-worth and perfectionism. So trauma negatively impacts a person's self sense of self-worth. For some, this leads to perfectionism and work, overworking themselves as a way to compensate for feelings of inadequacy. They may feel they need to work harder to prove their value and that exhausts them physically, mentally, emotionally, and they burn out. This is especially common in people who have experience trauma related to neglect or emotional abuse. 
as they often have deep rooted feelings of not being good enough, not being enough. If you like the video so far, please give me the thumbs up. Let the Google algorithm know that this is worth watching and subscribe to my channel. Much appreciated. Number five, compromised sleep and recovery. People with trauma often experience insomnia or nightmares. And since sleep is, is a crucial factor in recovering from daily stress, lack of restful sleep impairs their body's ability to bounce back from challenges and making the person more susceptible to burnout. The combination of emotional fatigue and physical exhaustion becomes a double-edged sword for people with trauma. Number six, isolation and withdrawal. Um, those with trauma may isolate themselves as a coping mechanism, which increases feelings of burnout because without the strong support system and help from others, to manage their stress, people feel overwhelmed more quickly. Isolation also prevents them from seeking help or sharing their burdens, which brings about a burnout way faster and makes it a lot harder to navigate and overcome. Number seven, cumulative trauma effects. If someone has experienced multiple traumas, they may have compounded stress responses. Each trauma leaves a scar that shapes how the person handles stress. So people with a history of traumas may feel a sense of chronic emotional fatigue, which primes them for burnout even before they face additional pressures. So they have a pretty low threshold. Number eight, cognitive overload. Trauma doesn't just affect emotions, it also affects cognitive functions. And trauma survivors often report difficulty concentrating, memory loss, and difficulty focusing. They have um, mental fog. This is because their brain is constantly occupied with managing emotional pain or avoiding trauma triggers. So cognitive overload may increase mistakes and lead to the person dropping balls, getting behind or missing deadlines. And all of these compound stress, reinforcing um, their feeling of being inadequate, the struggle, they feel exhausted, and that further increases the likelihood of a burnout Number nine, the trauma lens on work and relationships. So trauma survivors may view the world through a trauma lens, meaning they interpret stressful situations as more threatening than they actually are. At work, for instance, they may perceive criticism or high workload as personal attack or um, signs of failure because they can't cope with it. This misinterpretation misinterpre amplifies their stress level and over time they may feel increasingly burned out. So trauma definitely leaves lasting impacts on the nervous system, emotional resilience and coping strategies, all of which are crucial for managing stress to prevent burnout. Without proper healing or support, those with trauma um, are more prone to burnout because uh, they're working with an already reduced capacity to handle stress. Does this explanation resonate with you, with your understanding or experience on how trauma and burnout intersect? If so, share your experience in the comments, like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.